your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. More relief coming in for hurricane victims. Caritas International is a confederation with over 160 members who are working at the grassroots level in almost every country globally when a crisis hits. While well, they are currently on Grand Bahama also lending assistance. Romiko Knowles reports. Caritas is the Catholic Church's disaster relief organization present in some 160 countries. The relief group was invited into the Bahamas by the Archdiocese of Nassau to help with relief efforts. Head of Office for Caritas in the Bahamas, Sean O'Neill says, they will be assisting with home repairs. So right now we're doing minor repairs, which includes mold remediation, taking down sheetrock that were flooded, putting back uh, some sheetrock in order to give people privacy in a bedroom and a bathroom, making sure the bathroom functions, making sure there's a kitchen sink and so that they can cook in those. And when there are uh, minor patches that need to be done to the roof to make sure the home is dry. As a part of their community outreach program, the faith-based group has decided to begin their campaign with a beach cleanup on Williamstown Beach. Community Engagement Officer Angelique Gray says they're expecting a good turnout. We have invited all the schools on the island and we expect a good support in conjunction with the Keep Grand Bahama Clean campaign. And so we're really excited about having a good turnout and just allowing persons to get out there, assist in the community, work together and give back, begin the year in a positive way. So far we've gotten such a good response and the children are excited of course. Um, they will receive community service hours as well for it and we have one or two exciting surprises planned for persons that get involved. The Disaster Relief Group will also open a resilience center in the CRS Plaza. Mental health and psychosocial support consultant Jennifer Van Wyck says the center will be a place of refuge for persons needing help. Well, what we want to do here is have a place where people can just have fun. They can get out of their house. They can forget their problems for a little while and connect with other people. A lot of people have lost their homes also, so this is another place of, a place of refuge where people can just uh, learn new skills, come together, meet, m maybe make new friends, meet other people, um, talk about and process what's happened for them, and then also get access to uh, a psychosocial person uh, who can work with them one-on-one -on -one if they just have some other goals that they want to work with uh, on a more confidential basis. Uh, basis. Now the official opening of the Grand Bahama Resilience Center is expected to be sometime next month. Organizers say the goal of the center is for it to be used for the benefit and well-being of others. Romiko Knowles, ZNS Network News. The Atlantic Caribbean Union of the Seventh-day Adventist Health Ministries in conjunction with the Northern Bahamas Conference hosting a special two-day lecture series on psychological trauma. Pastor Eric Clark along with Health Ministries Director Natalie LaCroix say that they believe this will be beneficial to residents particularly after having to deal with Hurricane Dorian and the stress that followed the deadly storm. In addition to that, we wanted to help in a more positive way in the minds of the folk also. And we realized that everybody needs some kind of a counseling. And so we were very pleased that Loma Linda University, that the South Bahamas Conference, which is our partner in the Bahamas, and the Atlantic Caribbean Union were able to join together with us. It's a church. So it's fitting. We are part of a worldwide church, a Seventh-day Adventist church. So it's fitting to bring um, professionals in the area of um, psychology to help with persons who were experiencing stress, depression, trauma as a result of, of the hurricane. Speaking to the spiritual ramifications of trauma is Dr. Carlos Bayard, Associate Professor of Psychiatry at the Loma Linda University School of Medicine, along with Bahamian born Dr. Ferez Roll, Associate Professor of Psychiatry, who will address the long-term consequences of trauma. As we were driving around, we arrived this morning, we were driving around. It's almost every block you have a church. But you know that oftentimes church people have some prejudice, some stigma about emotional problems. Uh, people feel that they need to be strong, or people feel that if they're not strong, somehow their faith is failing. 
And so we, we feel that, that we have uh, the ability to fill in a niche in terms of reaching out to communities, explaining what this is, understanding for them that this is not an indication of lack of faith, that it's not an indication that God somehow has left them. When Dr. Fayard had mentioned to me that he was coming, I felt that this would be a really good opportunity not to just talk about um, the effects that such an event can have on a person's mental health, but also to look at how trauma of all types can affect us, because that's something that, as Bahamians, we tend not to talk enough about, and usually we tend to experience more of the effects of trauma when we go through something like a hurricane, but not just the hurricane itself, but a lot of our past begins to come up. So I thought it'd be helpful to talk about that so people can recognize those effects in their lives and hopefully get treatment. Now, once again, the two-day conference starts tonight at 7 p.m. and on Saturday, January 11th at 4.30 p.m. Well, the Royal Bahamas Police Force taking its beat retreat to the streets of downtown Freeport this weekend. The big event is slated for this Saturday on Piner's Way. Inspector Jason Hicks says the fun kicks off at 4 p.m. and members of the band are preparing. Not 4.45, not 4.15, we have a spectacular show that starts at 4 p.m., one hour. It's going to feature that the band is going to be doing some drill display movements, singing from yours truly here, and um, a lot of excitement. Now he says that the Beat Retreat is all a part of the Commissioner's Community Outreach Initiatives. During Beat Retreats in the community, we take part, we ask the, the community to take place, uh, to come in and to, to shake hands and, and to see how we perform and share our music and love with them. And that's a look at stories making news. Rumiko, what's coming up in sports? Well, Senior Boy Softball Championship game is in the history books, mm -hmm. and it was a complete blowout. Stay with us, Rumiko Knowles, as a check on sports when we come back. <laughs> 